<laughs> Happy New Year! The, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. The old Camo Dave baby wearing uh, camo diapers, right? Happy New Year 2019. I don't know what the sickle means. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mark Fun Jones, thank you so much for that amazingly interesting drawing. Letters, 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 letters for the first of January 2019. Oh, yeah. Robert writes, Cameo Dave, I watched all the videos RVers TV. RVers TV shot that Bob Wells was so upset about. Bob Wells must not have watched those videos or he would not be saying what he said. I watched that video and thought he was talking about someone else, but in a rebuttal video, RVer TV just did uh, just did mention that Bob had contacted him. RVer TV has been doing videos for years about the courtside area. I started watching him before I started watching Cheap RV Living Bob. Bob has helped me a lot with his channel in my transition to full-time van living, but in this case he is completely wrong about what RVer TV did. RVer TV repeatedly told his viewers not to take what he said as the final word. RVer TV was asked by one of Bob's staff members to check out the site of the RTR to see if there was a second way in. She showed him Google Maps. Uh, she was looking at that that showed a possible second way in. I think people are worried that, you know, there's that one way to get in through the wash and if somehow that, that gets blocked or something from either some rain or some sort of, I don't know, people want to, they feel a little better that there's an alternate way in and out. And I think Bob, Cheap RV Living Bob, did mention that you can just leave in a number of places you would be going on private land or or restricted land or whatever but you can get out in other ways but he's not recommending anyone use those ways because that's just an emergency thing i don't know i don't know so we continue what bob wrote or what robert wrote here <laughs> uh rtv or rv or tv was asked by one of bob's staff members to check out the site of the rtr to see if there was a second way in right rv or tv went out and shot a video of the new rtr site and drove to that spot and showed everyone it was not a way to enter because of a deep ditch anyway so anyway yeah so uh whatever but anyway uh yeah sometimes i think a lot of these youtubers that complain about other youtubers didn't actually watch their videos they just hear about them second or third handed and then you know and then they complain i know people do that about me a lot rob mm writes uh, amen the rv -er, the rv youtube videos are getting robotic some rv creators are letting the sponsors and donation money uh, and tv deals fog their creativity I think so. Ask YouTubers dollar sign writes, uh, Mr. Dave, I have a question for you. When you have a YouTube channel, you basically o own your own business. So what percent of the money that you bring in do you have to save to pay for taxes? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, the IRS is there to help. Uh, there is a thing where you have to file quarterly estimated taxes if you're self-employed. They have a lot of little forms and you fill out what you guess your income is going to be that year. You just have to do a guesstimate and then they will tell you exactly how much you should send them in four quarterly payments. Uh, what is it? It's April 15th, the same day you file your taxes. June 15th, September 15th, and I think there's a final payment... Uh, you might have to pay in January 15th. I forget. It's four times a year. you got to send them in. And then when you do your taxes, you fiddle you fiddle around with it. And uh, you either pay too much or too little. And sometimes you end up even having to pay more. But, it, you know, I don't know. It's It comes out to somewhere around a quarter of what you estimate your your annual income will be. Something like that. You know, but you got to do it. Janice Duncan writes, let me know if you're in Athens. I live about 20, 25 miles from there. Yeah, I am hoping to get down to Athens, Georgia sometime late January, early February, conditions permitting, and uh, hang out there for a little while. I'm looking forward to that most assuredly. And Janice and some other YouTubers that are in the Georgia, South Carolina area, yeah, let's get together. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, happy 2019, Camo Dave writes, Deb B. I was watching some of Eric's videos. I missed the past couple weeks. You mentioned people complaining about him joining Thousand Trails. Did you notice that one video he did at that resort had over 60,000 views? Say what you will, but he got a whole lot of hits on that video. I don't get Carpetbaggers channel. I popped into his New Year's live chat last night, and he was barely talking, so I popped out. Yeah, Jacob was doing a, a, a fun festivity um, 
uh, New Year's Eve uh, video essay. He just kind of was staring at the camera. Oh. <laughs> Come on, jazz it up a little music and a little pep. I don't know. I think he was kind of tired. I don't know. But uh, Eric's got to, you know, he's balancing it. You know, he's a balancing act. You've got to please the people that brought you to the dance, all those subscribers that you currently got, and you're trying to get new subscribers with slightly different material. And it's a dance. you got to do it. And everybody does it. I, you know, you, you mix the good and the bad, the new and the old, the, the whatever. You know, you got to keep the people that brought you there satisfied at the same time you're trying to get new people with new material. I don't know. He's doing a good job of it, but it's 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 for every YouTube creator, it's an, always an interesting little tango there. Gene on the Road writes, Nomadic Fanatics fans do not realize how hard it is to boondock in central and southern Florida. It isn't like Arizona, where, the, where you can just find a nice piece of BLM desert. Florida is crowded. More and more ordinances are being uh, erected, you know, again, against every overnight camping and vehicles, and they are increasingly enforcing them. Yeah, the East Coast is getting more and more like that, as, as we talk to a lot of YouTubers that are nomads, especially the Northeast. I mean, they just, you know, you can't boondock anywhere anymore. You know, there's just, there's no room. It's too crowded. And Florida is a very urbanized state. It's getting more crowded by the moment. Uh, Justin says, recommends that it's time for me to find a new stable of especially nomadic channels to follow. The ones that I'm currently watching are getting very, very stale. I, especially if you're trying to do an honest critique of their endless BS. There are lots of better RV travel channels out there. Dump these nobodies. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give it through the RTR because I realize, you know, everybody's going to be hunkering down for that. But once we get into middle of January, late January, February, yeah, I, if some of these channels don't start going for better content, at least some sort of interesting content, I'm going to definitely mix some different people into the mix. It's going to be interesting. Finally, Jacques writes, be safe on your journey back home. Lots of road ragers today suffering from terrible hangover. Put your hazard lights on and don't drive too fast. Yes, I did make the very hazardous drive down I-66 from Manassas to Springfield. I'm here. I'm back in the, the little loft room. Yeah, <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Not too many zombies there with, uh, with hangovers, but anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to be here in Springfield through uh, this coming weekend, and then January 7th, something interesting will happen, uh, one way or the other. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. All right, folks. Hey, thank you very much for watching Letters, Letters, Letters for day one of 2019. All right. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Block Under. <laughs>